Is there going to be a different outcome this time around, considering that uh, the teenagers themselves, the victims, are actually the ones who are taking center stage and speaking out? Or is it going to be the same as always? So I'm a little skeptical that uh, anything will be different this time around, and for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first reason is Donald Trump. Uh, he tweeted today about all the various uh, sort of gun regulations that he would be in favor of. He talked about background checks and things like that. Uh, but Donald Trump has not been very good so far at turning his legislative priorities into actual legislation. And the second reason is I still think there's a fair amount of there's still a good amount of uh, political capital on the part of the uh, on the part of sort of gun. Uh, gun control opponents that they can they can sort of stymie at this time, but I think the you're seeing overall like the Overton window on this issue is starting to shift back to the left. I think, and it may not happen this year, or it may not happen in, you know in, you know in two years, but I think over the next five to ten years, I think you're going to start to see uh, a shift back to the left on the gun issue, and you know we could be having you know five years from now we could be having a very different conversation. Okay. Um, I think the uh, one thing that might happen is the bump stocks because uh, bump stocks are things that make semi-automatic weapons. You know, you can keep discharging ammunition with one pull of the trigger, which makes it fully automatic. automatic yeah. Fully automatic is already illegal. So you're not really giving up any Second Amendment rights to, you know, you're just sort of technology got ahead of the law and you're just putting putting that back right. So I can see that one happen as sort of a, you know, here we did something. Um, the, I think Trump is throwing out so many things now that it's going to be hard, and, I, and probably is his purpose for doing it this way, it's going to be hard to get co any coalescing around one particular proposal. Uh, and, you know, uh, activism is hard. And, you know, these students, you know, this bill, whatever they want, whatever they're pushing for, it's not going to be passed in a month or two weeks or two months, you know, it's going to take a lot of time and a long bunch of debate and so forth. And I think that, you know, that I, you know the, the arc of these things is familiar for a reason. And I could see, you know, I mean, my attitude has always been if you didn't win this argument at Newtown, you're probably not ever going to really win it.